And then another one is a forest in the UK called the New Forest. Has anyone ever been there? Oh wow, that's good, that's nice. Okay, I haven't, so you're all doing well there. So I'm gonna don't shout out the answers yet, but I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the three pictures. Okay, so try and think in your mind, is this the Amazon rainforest that I'm showing you? Or is it the cedar forest where the Barbara macaques live? Or is it a forest in England called the New Forest? Okay, so don't tell me yet, don't want to know yet, but just have a look at, at, at that one and think which one that might be. Is it the Amazon forest? Is it a cedar forest? Or is it the New Forest in the UK? Okay, and have a look at this one. So don't shout out. I'm just very quickly going to flick through them so that I don't give the, them away too much. Super. Okay, so... What do you think that one is, everybody? Yes. Is it new, the new forest? You're right, it is a new forest. Can anyone tell me what kind of trees you might find in the new forest? <laughs> oak. Oak, yeah, I'm, look, I'm thinking oak trees. Oak, oak trees are some of the oldest trees in, in England and we've used them all, for hundreds of years in making things like ships and, and things like that. So let's go back and have a look at the second one. What about that one? What do we think that one is? The Amazon. That, yeah, how can you tell? Because the river. The river, because that's the Amazon River, but and also it's kind of, it's hard to see, isn't it, in this light, but it's kind of tropical looking, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what about this one then? That just leaves one more. So where, where do we think that one is? Cedar forest. That's the cedar forest in our beloved Morocco, where our beloved Barbara McCaps live. Very good. Okay, so... What I'd like to focus on today is the Amazon rainforest. Um, now, uh, oh, just before I go on to that, um, I, I want to just go back to all forests in general. Um, so what's one of the main problems with our forests, with all forests in the world? Uh, all the trees have been cutting down. Yeah, what's the term for that? Can anyone, that's very good, what's the scientific term for it? Deforestation. Well done, deforestation, okay. And, and the Amazon rainforest is, is a very good example, well, good in a, but not in a good sense, but it's an example of how, um, how deforestation is really taking place. Excellent. Now, um, is there any way, do you think, of cutting down trees but, and using things from the forest but not completely destroying the forests? Can anyone answer that? Do you think that's possible? Every time I cut down a tree, you plant three more. Okay, so replanting forests is really important, isn't it? Um, and we'll, and we'll, we'll go back to that in a moment, but can anyone remember from the lesson on, from one of the workshops we did on Barbara and Macaques, what their role is in the rainforest, in their cedar forests, I should say? You seem to be quite sure about what you're going to say. Um, don't they, oh, they don't eat meat. They, they, do, they eat insects, yeah, but, and you're on the right lines because it's all about them eating and then doing something else and then something else happens. Go on, Grace. Scaring them with their teeth. Like, well, yeah, maybe, yeah. They certainly scare things with their teeth. Yeah, but I'm talking about how they look after the forest and, and the important role they have in the forest with the trees. Don't they eat the insects inside the trees? You, you're all on the right lines, and I'm just going to tell you, because it's, it's perhaps a bit too vague for you to fully remember. It's to do with eating fruits off the trees, and the seeds that's, that are inside the fruit are ingested inside the barbary macaques. And when they go to the toilet, then the seeds come out, and, they, and they're planted into the ground. And obviously the macaque poo acts as a fertiliser, which helps all the trees grow. So without Barbary macaques in the forest, I mean, just imagine we're like we're taking, we're cutting down trees from those forests. They're actually helping me plant them, so they play a very important role in the in the forest. Okay, so let's go back to the Amazon rainforest. A lot of people call that the lungs of the world. Can anyone tell me why? Is it because trees um, breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen? That's absolutely. True, that's absolutely true, excellent. So can anybody tell me why uh, it's super, super, super bad to cut down uh, trees in the Amazon? 
have a go. Um, might be right. Might is not. it because then we don't have as much oxygen as we had before? That's absolutely one of the right answers. The other is that the trees in the Amazon rainforest are called it's called a primary rainforest, which means that all of the trees in there um, have, have existed for hundreds and hundreds of years. They started from way before we were born. Um, and over all those years, they've soaked up carbon dioxide. And when you chop those trees down, it releases it into the atmosphere. So the Amazon rainforest is a particularly important rainforest. And people are really trying to, to keep the trees in the ground in that rainforest. So we're going to play a game today because... One thing I didn't realise before I started doing this conservation business is that um, a lot of the products that we use in our everyday life come from the Amazon rainforest. So what we're going to do is I'm going to, I've got a bag full of things and we're going to look at them all. And I was actually, because I thought you'd be a smaller group because last time, last term you were only seven of you. So I, I was going to get you to put them all, to put them into different piles, okay? But what I'm going to do, I think, is split you into two teams and then we'll have a spokesperson or mover for each team who comes out and puts everything in the right pile. So um, what we need is a pile of things that you don't believe are from, come from the rainforest and a pile of things that you think do come from the Amazon rainforest. So if I just do that, so everyone on this side move that way and everyone on this side move that way. Excuse me, I'll just get my bag of things. So don't shout anything out now. Um, but, so what we can do is uh, take it in turns and have someone from each team come forward and put um, the, the item into the right pile. Okay. So let's say that uh, non-rainforest items are on this side and rainforest items are on this side. Okay. But before we start, we'll just go through what everything is. So we've got, apologies, a yucky, smelly, dirty old welly. That's uh, from my dog walking. It's got rather muddy. So a welly. Okay. Don't say anything yet. We've got a tin. Tin of baked beans. Oh, it was a tin of baked beans. We've got uh, a light bulb. Now this actually represents electricity. So don't think of it as a light bulb. It's electricity. We've got mobile phone, probably quite an outdated mobile phone nowadays, isn't it? We've got a wooden spoon, we've got coffee, uh, we have got, now I couldn't fit these in the bag so I had to get a picture of them, a car, a car, toothpaste, Brazil nuts, that's what's in that bag. Nearly there. Battery. We have got two necklaces. One's gold. Well, it might not be gold, but it's supposed to be gold. And the other is full of shiny gems. So they're there. Medicine. Okay, we're almost there. Paper. Just box down the paper. We've got a plastic, it's, it's, it's tissues, I know, but it's plastic, a plastic bag that the tissues are in. We've got some succulent beef, obviously a picture of, because I thought it might be a bit smelly if I brought that in. And two more things. Oh, in fact, I thought I had a little bag of chocolate in here, it's got into the plastic bag, there it is. This is chocolate, okay, in case you're wondering. <laughs> yeah, this is the, you said this was the not rainforest side and that was the rainforest side. Okay, so she's put the wooden spoon in the rainforest side. Right, okay, we're not going to say anything yet, but um, let's start from the back again. So, yeah, it's, it's used her. Let's put the coffee in the rainforest side, okay, very good. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah, Grace, do you want to come on? Room. What's she going for? The welly has gone in the non rainforest side. Okay, yeah, very good. And yeah, do you want to come to <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know a lot of your names, so I'll just have to point. The 
toothpaste. That's going in the non-rainforest side, okay? Um, yeah, just come here, just come here. Is it, is it James? It's Alex. Alex, so he is a you. Ah, right, Alex has put the medicine in the rainforest side. Interesting, okay, yeah. Just put the paper in the rainforest side, very good, okay. Um, is the tin rep so that rep representing a tin or the actual beans? <laughs> I knew you'd have a question like that. It's representing the tin, so it's the, it's the, the material it's made out of. Oh, he's put the phone in the non-rainforest side. Okay, very good. Yep, who's next? Yeah, The chocolate, he's put in the rainforest side. Okay, yeah, uh, I'm lost as to where we are. The car. You're putting that in, that, so that's the plastic going in the rainbow set, okay, very good, yep. Who's not having that? Right, so electricity is in the non-rainforest side, okay, Dominic, yep. Is everyone happy? Everyone might get a go. Can you switch one? No, you cannot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, think about it, look what you've got left, you've got, you've got beef, You've got battery, you've got copper, you've got gems, gold and tin. Can I choose the Brazil nuts? Yes, you can. Okay, that goes in the rainforest side. Okay, so the Brazil nuts are in the rainforest side. Okay. Uh, who's, who's not been in this group? Do you not been? I do apologise. One down. So the beef has gone in the rainforest side, that's interesting as well. Okay. Right, so Harry has put the gold in the rainforest side, okay. Have you all been in this group? Yeah, okay. Um, right, and so Charles, are you the last person who hasn't been? Yeah. Okay, so you come and do one. Right, the battery's gone in the non-rainforest side. Okay, so let's just, like, everyone shout out what they think this is. Gems. Rainforest. Rain 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 okay. It looks like plastic, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is plastic, but we're pretending it's gems, okay. I didn't want to bring gems in, I might get mugged. So, this is copper. What are we going to do this? Rainforest. Rainforest. Rainforest, okay, and then the tin. Rainforest. Okay, so so the majority of them have gone in the rainforest side. That's that's interesting. Right, shall I tell you what the actual results are? And the Brazil nuts, of course, have gone there as well. Right, I have a confession to make. I've been a bit mean because actually, the indirectly, one way or another. Every single thing here contains something that comes from the rainforest, even the smelly old welly. And I will tell you why. So let's start with, let's look at everything. So we've got, we've got the beef, so whoever put that there, that was quite right. And um, so, did you know that an area as large as three football fields is cut down every minute yeah. in the Amazon? And this is mainly to make room for cattle to graze there or to grow the soya that they feed to the cattle. So this, this is quite a serious problem that is being examined is the yes. amount of, um, of rainforest cut down for that. A minute, yes, believe it or not. And um, as I said, these are all primary trees, so uh, obviously once you've cut them down, you can't get that back and you can't, you can't figure out a way to, um, to, to stop releasing all that carbon. Right, then we've got the car. So cars, well, cars are made out of all sorts of things today, but steel is a big, is a material that's used a lot in, in cars. And steel is actually um, made out of iron, and that is mined in the, in the Amazon rainforest. Okay, what else have we got? 
the welly. Now, believe it or not, this, so this is made out of rubber, and anything that's made out of rubber, you can think back, well, this was the first reason that we ever did any farming in, in the Amazon rainforest. So before we started planting soya and coffee and all that stuff, rubber was the first business that they ever made in the Amazon rainforest. Um, what we've got, believe it or not, toothpaste, or most kinds of toothpaste, it's got something called gypsum in it, which is actually, again, mined in the Amazon rainforest. So a lot of toothpaste has gypsum in it. Um, this, good old aluminium, this has got something called bauxite in it, I think that's how you pronounce it, bauxite which is also mined in the Amazon rainforest. You must be wondering how on earth we get electricity from the Amazon, does anyone have any ideas? Go on, go on Dominic, we'll ask everyone. Uh, isn't fossilised cheese make coal and then coal is feed to make electricity? That's that's 100% true. There's, there, there's more than one answer though, but that is absolutely right. So, so yes, the coal that is produced from fossilised trees, that, um, that, can heat, uh, that can be used to uh, fuel power stations, which provides electricity. There's something else though, which is directly mined in the Amazon rainforest, and it's actually related to nuclear power. Does that, is that relevant to what you guys are going to say? I'll tell you what it is, and then, then if you think you're right, you can still say. So it's called uranium. Uranium is mined in the Amazon rainforest, and that is actually used um, to produce nuclear power, which produces electricity. What were you guys going to say? Um, That's an important component, component of mobile phones, which is again mined in the rainforest. Um, medicine. So who was it who put that there? Yeah, why did why, so how on earth is a little pill that makes you better? How does that come from the Amazon rainforest? I've Park? seen a WWF advert and there were poaching lions <coughs> and tigers and they used their bones for medicine. Ah, now that's slightly different because that's Chinese traditional medicine and yeah, that is actually illegal. Uh, yeah, but it's very sad about the uh, Chinese traditional medicine actually used for, for you know, using those parts. So we're nearly there. Um, paper's obvious, that comes from trees. Wooden spoon, wood, yeah. The one with the gems, the necklace, that's mined. Gems are mined in the Amazon rainforest, so is gold. Um, how about this? What, what made you think this came from the rainforest? The plastic, who's that? Me. What made um, you think that? I think it might be because of the trees. Well, um, actually, what is plastic made out of? How do we make plastic? Mm -hmm. Well, we can make it out of leaves. We can make a kind of plastic, like a biodegradable one. But it's actually made out of oil, did you know that? No. The plastic is based on, I, I didn't for a long time as well. So um, we could also say that in a way the car comes from the Amazon rainforest because the petrol that we use to fuel our cars, the oil that goes into that is, comes from, among other places, from the Amazon forest. And so does oil that makes plastic. Um, chocolate, yeah, that cocoa is definitely mined in the Amazon rainforest. Brazil nuts come from there, yeah, a Brazil, because it's the Amazon and, and, and the Amazon is found in Brazil. But did you know that these, that although we call them nuts, they're actually a seed. They're classified as a seed of Brazil nuts. So I presume that when that's planted in the ground, it has the potential to grow into a, a tree. Um, batteries. Batteries have something called manganese in them. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know the Brazil nuts? Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's not in the um, I think I'm still allergic to it. Oh, I wouldn't even like to try it. Because uh, I'm sure you probably are. Yeah, I, I, so I wouldn't. I'm not going to even experiment with that. Um, so, batteries, manganese. That's something that we find in batteries. And finally, the Allen key, which is copper. And copper is also mined in the rainforest. So, I don't know. Have you guys learned something today? Yeah. yeah, because I certainly wasn't aware until I kind of started doing this kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when you think about it, it's not it's not natural, is it? We don't we don't just mine it out of the ground. It, it's actually I don't know the whole process, but it's um, I guess it's oil that's heated to a certain temperature and is made into sheets of plastic as well as adding other ingredients. So yeah, so really we need we need to be grateful to the Amazon rainforest, don't we? 
so many things. And also, need, we need to be aware as consumers, because we use all these things, we need to be aware that one day, like, you know, if we keep on consuming and using, using, using things, the Amazon rainforest might run out and we, we really don't want that to happen. So we try and be as, we try and re, what's our, our logo? Reuse, what's, what is it? Reuse, reuse re, reduce and recycle. Reuse, reduce, recycle, exactly. So reuse things before you throw them away. Reduce how many things that you actually buy and use and recycle. We all know what that is. So excellent. So I, I hope you've learned something and it's been a nice lesson. Thank you. <laughs> Jolly good. Well, that's it. So, uh, anybody got any questions before we round off? Yes. Can oh, I eat chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> Can you eat chocolate? Well, um, I did promise my other half that I would take it home for him. So, I'm dreadfully sorry, but I better had. And plus, I might need to use this lesson again, so I need my little kit. But, one thing that I do have for you guys, actually, because I do think... Um, I mean, I don't know all of you, but certainly the people who participated last term were absolutely brilliant. So I've brought you along a certificate, which is over there, just behind Mr. Dewhurst. Could you just pass me those papers? That's alright. Thank you very much. So this is, I hope you will display this somewhere nicely in your classroom, because this is to say... Um, to Asheville Junior Eco Club, this is to thank you for your participation um, in the education programme. On behalf of all the Barbary macaques, thank you for your fundraising efforts and interest in conservation. We could not do it without you, and that's true, you know. It really is true. And hopefully you will take little things from what we've, we've talked about and just, you know, keep thinking about that into the future. And maybe this term we might get to go and see some Barbie and cats, might we? At Trentham Monkey Forest. So, so this is for you guys to put up wherever you want. And it's even got the director of the charity signature on it. So she wow. knows all about you and she's, she's very impressed. So there you go. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank you to you. Can we